seven of the fantasy football season. And he has a few defense DSTs I would add on the wire this week. The first one is the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, each and every week, their defense is improving, just like their offense, obviously. And in week six at the Cleveland Browns, they had a good game, including knocking down Baker Mayfield a few times and hurting his shoulders. 14 points allowed, five sacks and interception, and two fumble recoveries. So, so far this season, we've seen this Arizona DST score three double-digit fantasy games in the first, obviously, six games of the season. So week seven, they got a great matchup versus the Houston Texans. I give up the third most fantasy points to DSTs, and they're going to have a good game and probably one of the better weeks. One of the better DSTs they're going to be is this Arizona defense in week seven here. And they're still available in 43% of fantasy leagues, but that quickly is not going to be that quick. That quickly, they're not going to be available after this week, the next defense is the New England Patriots. So the Patriots, they've been a bend but don't break type of defense all season here. And I think they played a decent ball game versus the Dallas Cowboys, even though this Cowboy offense went up and down the field. But the Patriots, they made a few big plays in that ball game, forcing a couple fumbles, including the Cowboys picking one off in the end zone on back and making them fumble on a diving attempt into the end zone. So they finished week six, 29 points allowed interception and a fumble recovery and this week they got a great matchup in week seven versus the new york jets that give up the most fantasy points to dsts and we saw in week two the damage this patriot dst did versus the jets six points allowed four sacks and four interceptions so zach wilson here they're gonna trick him in this ball game in this patriot defense and like i mentioned they did a decent job with that prescott in terms of playing tight coverage and forcing a few turnovers so i think they're gonna have a big game versus the Jets in this one. And they're available right now in 41% of fantasy leagues. So another DST not available in a wide range of fantasy leagues, but just enough to put on this list as an ad this week. The next defense is the Carolina Panthers. So the Panthers, they got off to a hot start on the season 3-0, and but now they're 3-3 three and three here. And they're mightily struggling. And their defense hasn't done much in terms of fantasy football. Week 5 versus Philly, I know they had 21 points allowed. Two sacks, an intel fumble recovery, and a safety. In week six versus Minnesota, though, 34 points allowed. Fumble recovery, a block kick for a touchdown will pretty much save their fantasy day in that one here for the Panthers. But they got a great matchup in week seven at the New York Giants. And here's this Panther DST. The Giants, they're prone to turnovers. And now they would have banged up as well with Kenny Galladay, Tani, and obviously Saquon Barkley. We don't know if he's going to play in week seven, even though I thought Devontae Booker did a decent job filling in. So right here, I think this Panther defense, they got to get back to basics. I know it's a road game at the New York Giants, and they're coming off losing three in a row here. So this defense, they got to play tighter coverage. They got to get to the quarterback more. And that was another reason they were winning early in the season, because they were playing better defense. So I think this week, they're going to turn things around here at a Giant team that don't have the greatest of offensive lines. And right now, they're available in 47%. Of fantasy leagues. The next defense is the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons here got a pretty good matchup on paper this week in week seven. Miami Dolphins that give up the second most fantasy points to DST. So we saw in week five they didn't do much this Falcon team versus one of the worst teams in the league versus the Jets. 20 points allowed, two sacks in an intro. But a week off here after the bye week. I think going into Miami gonna be good weather obviously most likely. And Tua Taiwa Bogley, I know he played well in his return versus Jacksonville, but I think this Falcon defense could make a few plays. And they are one week only in as well here with a good matchup on paper. And they're available in 98% of fantasy leagues. So in my opinion, I could see them score anywhere from 7 to 10 fantasy points. And if you're in a pinch or have a defense on a bye, I think the Falcons aren't the worst to head in the world. And the fifth and final DST I looked at in the Wall and Saints of the Saints here. On, or coming off a bye week as well in week six after they had a pretty decent DST day week five at the Washington football team 22 points allowed two sacks and two interceptions and right here week seven they're at the Seattle Seahawks on Monday night football and obviously Russell Wilson he's not going to be back in time for that ball game so right here this same DST is available in 61 percent of fantasy leagues and I think they can make a few plays on Geno Smith and we saw they're not going to score the football a lot. And their big players like Metcalf and Lockett didn't have great games on Sunday night football in week six versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I think the Saints here 
could have a decent game. And we've seen them have a couple good games this season with three double-digit fantasy days out of the first five weeks here. So I think they're a decent option and a plug-and-play this week. So that's a few DST defenses I've looked at on the waiver wire heading into week seven of the fantasy football season.